Do you have closet shame? It's time to treat yourself. Hi, I'm Carly Myers, a stress management expert, and this month we're talking about treating ourselves. Oh my goodness. This is the month where we're giving, 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 and it's time to give to ourselves. We hear it all the time. Put the oxygen mask on yourself before you put it on others. Treat yourself. So I brought on an amazing guest, Susan Padrone, who is an intuitive personal stylist who helps women align their personalities with their personal style. Um, I'm so excited about this because I can't tell you enough. Like I can't talk well enough about Susan. I've done personal styling with her myself. She has a way about her. I remember walking into my closet with her and having such closet shame and her being like, girl, we got this. We got this. We're going to pull out. And she was able to help me pull out the pieces that really brought in confidence, that brought out my personality and just make suggestions that really just enabled me to show up a better business owner, a better, better woman. So I'm so excited to have you on the show, Susan. Oh, thank you. I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> Absolutely. So I'm curious. How did you, how did you get into this line of work? Yeah. So I often meet women who feel stuck and and invisible and, you know, like they're itching to kind of level up in their lives. So that's where I come in. Um, You know, I am able to really work with them through just easy conversations and my, my intuition, I'm able to guide people and introduce them to the new version of themselves. Um, you know, we start by going through your closet, you know, kind of like what we did together and, you know, we're moving pieces that are no longer serving them, you know, pieces that you're just not, not loving so much anymore. And you just need that permission to part with. And after that, you know, we go shopping to find pieces that highlight the person that they're evolving into. Um, you know, after I've worked with certain clients, I get the pleasure of hearing their life updates, you know, whether it's like promotions that they've had at work, relationships status changes, and just really overall a huge shift in their energy and how they really carry themselves. Mm. So before we hopped on the show, you told me about a new client. Yeah. I'd love for you to share that with us. Yes. I, I love this new client. I mean, I love all my clients, but <laughs> I, I was working with this client um, and she is in the process of going through this major, major change with her career. She's a clinical psychologist right now, and she is shifting into becoming a spiritual coach, which is just, you know, right up my alley because, you know, I love all that spiritual stuff. And, but she has all of these concerns about, you know, how she can show up as that new version of herself. So when we had that time together, when we were doing her shopping session, we really focused on who who she is now and how that can support her transition into her higher self and into that new career that she's really developing. Um, so it was all about like bridging that gap. And she even did a new like branding photo shoot too. So it was like just so beautiful to watch that like full transformation and just have her just like glowing and just like all, you know, seeing that vibration raise and oh, it was beautiful. So beautiful. That sounds awesome. It reminds me of an affirmation. I, every morning I read a few affirmations to myself and my, one of the newer ones is that I'm, I say I'm prepping for my next big role. Yeah. And, um, yeah. It's, it's all about like, how do I step into the, the next version of myself? The one that I'm always envisioning. And I love that. Like this, this is one of those things. Like we dress the part, we, we do the work. Um, that, that story just really reminded me of that affirmation. So yeah, absolutely. Maybe a little affirmation too. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you recommend for, especially this time of year, if we're looking to like step into that new role or that new version of ourselves and we're not really sure where to start? Yeah, I think that the first step that you really need to take is figuring out who that new like higher self is. So you want to really just do that inner work first. Um, and you don't have to be a completed project. You know, we're always evolving. We're always growing, you know, like you're still like doing affirmations every morning. Like I'm doing inner work too, but it's important to kind of take that step and say, okay, like who am I now? Who do I want to be? And then you 
should really start just taking notes, um, you know, even like making a shopping wish list for yourself because you want to help kind of stay on track so that you're not doing as much like impulse buying too, because that's, you know, that, that can be really huge and that can kind of keep us stuck and in that, you know, like past self as opposed to our future self. Um, so anytime that you think about like a special piece or, you know, whether it's like a gorgeous jacket or a new bag, boots, like whatever it is, add it to your list. Like I, you know, I tell my clients to keep one on their phone so that it's something that they can add to quickly and they can do it when they're out as opposed to just like lusting after a piece or splurging or, you know, whatever it is. And, you know, like, I can, of, I can think of like a very specific situation where this happened to me recently. Yeah. I, yeah, I, for some reason I'm attracted to really, really, really funky socks. Like that's my impulse. Like, <laughs> I need this pattern sock. And then I put together my really, really cute outfit. And of course I'm wearing like pixie pants where, or like mm -hmm. a certain type of pants where my socks are going to show. Yeah. And I have zero black socks. <laughs> and all I need to complete the piece is black socks so this is actually like I love this tip because it's something that even I'm forgetting uh, like yes you can have your funky socks but also you need to like think about your overall style and how it fits into where how you want to show up because clearly black is more my thing <laughs> Yeah. So, you know, like the next time you're getting dressed and you're like, oh no, where are my black socks? Just create a note on your phone. Be like, okay, black socks. That's the next thing that we're going to shop for. Like when we're in the mood to shop, black socks are going to come home with us. Yes. <laughs> and, you know, it's also important too, is to take a look at your list from time to time. And, you know, when it feels aligned, that's when like, you know, go ahead, like treat yourself in that moment. <laughs> So it's like less impulse buying and more just assisting with helping you move into your more aligned, authentic self. And I think this time of year too, we think about like, oh, I can't buy that for myself or like, I can't afford that. But this is really helping us also just think like, no, this is what I need. This is what I need to show up. This is not like yeah. self-indulgent. Yes, we're saying treat yourself for this month, but <laughs> really like when we're, when we're, strategic on what we want it's not a waste like right. maybe if I buy 20 pattern socks it might be a waste but if I if I go back to the list that Susan you suggested then I'm actually getting things that I need and that are going to enable me to show up exactly it's like it's so so important I mean especially with the holidays coming up too you know sometimes we're like oh my gosh I have this like family dinner and I don't know what I'm gonna wear for it and then you just buy something and you're not really in love with it or you just end up wearing it for that dinner and then it just exists in your closet forever and ever you know if you start planning ahead if you start creating that list it allows you to really just make better choices you know finding pieces that you can use again and again and so it's less waste it's less impulse and um, just better for yourself and your wardrobe overall <laughs> <laughs> yeah so it sounds like at the end of the day it's like it's about getting the most bang for your buck saving money while also mm -hmm. getting what you what you want what you desire what you need and also building confidence like our clothes has such a impact on the way we feel yeah, absolutely. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You like the, <laughs> the way that you dress 100% has a huge impact in how you feel and how others perceive you, how you perceive yourself and it's all connected. So you need to love what you're wearing first <laughs> in order for that to just be able to um, translate well into the rest of your day. Yeah. So for those of you who are listening, we want to know like, what is your favorite piece in your closet? How does it make you feel? Like, I know for me, I have a favorite pair of jeans, and every time I turn around and I look in the mirror, I'm like, that butt looks very nice, right? It makes yeah. you feel sexy. So yeah. we want to hear, what are your favorite pieces in your wardrobe? How do they make you feel? And what do you want to add to your wardrobe, too? We're mm -hmm. curious. Yeah, definitely. And I mean, if they're if you're struggling with answering that question, too, you know, that's where I come in. I am providing this amazing offer for anybody that is listening or watching to this episode of Stress Less Show, where all you have to do is just, you know, shoot me a message, whether it's on Instagram, email, through my website, which I'll list the, you know, all of those methods of contacting me <laughs> in a minute. But if you just mentioned that you heard about me, heard about us through the Stress Less Show, I am providing 20% off a shopping session for any listeners. 
So just as a way to say thank you to Carly and your wonderful audience, you know, I'm happy to do it and help you treat yourself. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So where can we find you? Instagram is definitely where I'm most active. And my handle is Susan Padrone underscore stylist. My website is susanpadronestylist.com, which is where you can find more information about my services, my story, um, some blog posts that can be really helpful, um, just helpful tips and insights into my approach to styling. Um, and Facebook, I have a PHL style tips group too, where you can just put out questions that I'll answer and other group members will answer too. Absolutely. And that for me, I feel like was a lifesaver. One time I posted in there when I got a horrible haircut and I was like, what do I do? <laughs> oh. So it's a great group to be in for sure. Thank so you. thank you, Susan, so much for coming up, coming on the show. Of course. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So this concludes this episode of the Stress Less Show. If you enjoyed this week's episode, let us know by giving us a big old thumbs up and hitting that follow or subscribe button. Thanks for listening and we'll see you next week.